Hello everybody out there, my name is Kevin, also known as Seto Kaiba, and today I'm going to talk about Dual Network and Dev Pro. Uh, these are two systems, Dual Network and Dev Pro are two dual systems out there now on the internet that we can use to do online if you don't know about that. And I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of each. And so please, for this topic, please, please, please comment. I want to know that I'm not alone in these beliefs that I've held and these ideas that I believe and my same feelings towards these two systems. So please comment on this topic and I'll, like always remember to like and subscribe. So first off I'm going to talk about Dual Network. And Dual Network's been around for about a couple years now. Now I'm going to talk about the pros of it. So the pros of it, it's quick, it's easy, it's accessible. You can get on it as long as you have internet connection which makes it great. It's also a good place for people that don't have money, a lot of money, uh, to get into the game, to play online instead of buying all the packs and cards and these expensive cards like Megalo and Priestess of Prophecy, Big Eye, etc, etc. It's also good in a way to try out new cards um, that are coming out in the future. It's also good to try out other opponent's decks you'll be facing, main meta decks. Say you want to find out how spellbooks work, or fire fists work, or a usual mermaid or mono mermaid uh, deck works. You can get online, you can build the deck, and you can see how it works. The best thing I find the use for with the uh, dual network is its template for setting up decks. You can pretty much just search all the cards you want to. It tells you how many monsters you have, how many traps, how many spells, etc., etc. And you can just look at it and it lays out pretty much all your cards in a nice way. You can figure out how many cards you have total, how many you have of this, how many you have of that. Okay, this. Well, let's try this card in it in this deck now because it doesn't have that many traps. I'll put Royal Decree in, take the traps out, add something else, etc., etc. The problem though is with every good thing about dual network, there's a million bad things. And I think we can all agree on this point. On that point, really a lot of bad things. The people on there can be assholes. Real assholes. I never knew there were so many assholes in Yu-Gi-Oh! until I got on dual network. Second thing, these people that monitor whatever they're called, it's supposed to monitor and um, I don't know what the hell the names there are, but they're supposed to help you if you if somebody's arguing about a ruling uh, of a card, they're never there. I, I've I've sent them you know a message once or twice, and I'll get a message back three four hours later. I'm like, okay, well that duel was rolling over with. I never heard from you. I don't know what the card, but they never do the job. <coughs> um, God bless you to my girlfriend behind the. <laughs> the recorder. Um, another thing I find problems with it, it there's just so many. People try, I, when I get on Dual Network, I want to do the main meta decks now. Spellbooks, without judgment, water, you know, possibly some of the new stuff coming out very shortly this April. Um, you know, stuff like that. That's fine. But I'm talking stuff way down the road that hasn't been. It's not going to be here for another four months or something like that. And it comes out, and I'm like, we're trying to figure out how to combat it, and somebody's just playing it, it on Dual Network. It's like, I'm not going to be dueling this in real life. What the fuck? I don't want to duel this. And people are awful on there about knowing what, what, I, what their card does. I had somebody tell me on Dual Network, because I had Necro Valley on the field, and I was running Grave Keepers. That because I had Necro Valley on the field, I could not run Gravekeeper Steely. What Gravekeeper Steely does, if you do not know what Gravekeeper Steely does, is I get to get two Gravekeepers from my graveyard back to my hand. It says, if you've read anything about the card, that you can do that. And the fact that he argued with me, and I said, look this up, and you will find out. And he argued with me for 10 freaking minutes. I didn't want to argue, so I just quit the damn thing. But he wanted to argue for 10 minutes about it, try to get a sub 
that's what they, that, those people were called sub to come in and tell me that I was wrong. I'm like, fudge this. If you won't listen to me, what the hell? And I've run into that so many times with people. And I'm like, no, you cannot do that. You, you can't do that. And people cheat on there. It's just, it wants, it wants to make me go nuts. I want to go nuts on there sometimes. There are so many other bad things too I could say, but I will not, and I'll hold my tongue about the people on there. But the fact that I understand that it's it's not like uh, the system on, we'll switch over now, to um, Dev Pro, which it's all managed. The life points are managed. The card rulings are managed, you know, all by the system. You don't need to worry about people trying to cheat you. If you if the card ruling is known overall by most people, it's going to be on the ruling thing. Now, the bad things about that, though, is... Though it's not like the old Game Boy games and the uh, Game Boy Advance and D, uh, uh, DSs, which we, if you ever played with the dueling network, the you know dueling on there on your DS was something. It's all auto managed, all that stuff. It's so there's less. Yes, you're not talking to your opponent as much, but it's more the hassle of having somebody being an asshole over on the other side you're dueling against is less likely, and I like that. And that, that honestly, for all, that just, that's why I, I use Dev Pro and I only use DN when I'm dueling people I know in real life or people I know and I've watched duel and I can tell they're good guys and, you know, stuff like that. But back to Dev Pro. Dev Pro, though it's good and it has that auto managing system, you have to upload it and it doesn't upload often. Yada, yada, yada. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it crashes. Yada, yada, yada. But honestly, for all that, the hassle with just dealing with those people on Dual Network, I'd rather have a system that crashes once in a while and that I have to download to my computer and I just can't access it from internet. I'd rather have that than Dual Network. Because I don't have, it's all auto-managed for me. I don't have to deal with an asshole. I can deal, I can just Dual I can figure out how a new deck works. If I want to build it, I know, okay, this is the ruling on it, this is the ruling on it. Okay, we'll build this deck. Because I know how it works. I know exactly how, say, a spellbook works, deck works, or Fire Fist, what the norm is for most of those decks. You know, like Tinky and you know all that other stuff. So you get a better understanding you know, of a deck. So really, I mean, I could go on and on and on about this topic, but I'm going to stop it there because I don't want to make the video too long for all of you. But please comment on this. I want to know that I'm not alone in my beliefs of Doom Network and DevPro. I prefer DevPro over DN in my conclusion. But please tell me why you don't like DN or why you don't like DevPro and what is your pros and cons of each of the topics of DevPro and DN. So thank you. Like always, remember to like and subscribe my video and take care. Good day.